So now that the list is out, what's next for survivors, the diocese, and investigators? We asked the Attorney General's office about that. Iowa News News reporter Alexandra Leslie continues our in-depth coverage with what we've learned. The Rhode Island Attorney General's office says while the release of this list is a step forward, it does not view it as the end of the process. With respect to clergy abuse, what I suspect will happen if I get elected is, is that we'll take a, uh, take a look uh, at those uh, allegations. We'll review what's been done to date. Attorney General Peter Nerona made his comments in an October 2018 episode of Newsmakers before he was elected. Almost seven months later, that's exactly what his office is doing in regard to a list of 50 priests and other clergymen the Roman Catholic Diocese of Providence released Monday. Uh, but like any other allegation of serious criminal misconduct, I'd take a look at it, I'd review uh, what, what's out there and then decide how to proceed. Monday, his office told Eyewitness News, quote, we are aware of allegations of sexual abuse by clergy and others and are engaged in review of those allegations. The office also says, quote, many such allegations have been made to law enforcement by victims directly, and we have also received previous disclosures from the diocese. We will examine this list against those previous allegations and disclosures. Plus, with new legislation extending a statute of limitations on child sex abuse from 7 to 35 years, more victims could still come forward, meaning more names could be released. The diocese says for those who have been abused and have not reported it, there are options. We have a list of all the agencies you can contact for help on WPRI.com. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.